Hello and welcome to the first video in my series called Digital to Traditional. In this series, I'm going to do the construction and line work in Photoshop and then print onto blending card and color using traditional methods, most likely Copic markers or Prismacolor pencils. I've decided to do a bit of a voiceover at the beginning of these videos. The idea really is to help you guys get to know me a little bit. If you like the format or even if you don't, then please let me know in the comments and I'll have a read through. By the way, this did make me laugh a little bit that I did the outline for the hair and uh, it's just disappeared now, but um, it looked a little bit like Broly had an afro. Um, if you're still listening to me ramble on, then throw a comment down for hashtag afro Broly down in the comments. So you can see so far I've done the con initial construction uh, and then I've done the sketch over the top. And then now you can see on screen that I'm doing the line work. Um, sorry for the sort of rotation, but I've only got a cheapy uh, digital pad. Uh, I know a lot of people use those Wacom um, touchscreen monitors, so if I can eventually get one of them, then it'll be a lot better for this bit. By the way, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed already, then please uh, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, it really helps me out for the channel. Um, just trying to grow the subscribership a little bit, but So I thought I'd do the little transition bit of me printing onto, uh, this is Express It blending card actually, a bit of trouble getting out of the printer, but um, yeah, you can see me printed it here. I'm gonna touch up the edges um, where you can see the hair's not quite to the edge of the card with some fine liner in a bit. Um, and then I've got it back to my desk and uh, just throwing some color down with the Copic markers. So I, I, I was toying with the idea of blending um, the colors on this a little bit, but in the end I decided to go with cell shaded because I, quite like the look and it's um well to be honest it's quite it's quicker to do um i would normally fill these areas with the skin tone completely and then lay the darker shades over the top of it which would have made the darker shaded areas a little bit lighter than you can see here but really i i wanted to get that really sort of high contrast look so i just did the lightest shades um as you can see here individually and then i laid the uh, shade in the darker shades and the mid-tone and the dark tone um, separately as well. So hopefully it gives a nice effect overall. But um, again, let me know what you think, guys. If you prefer to see it sort of all blended together in a more realistic tone, then uh, I'm happy to do those in the future as well. So I'm going to stop sort of rambling on now and let you enjoy the rest of the video. I'll throw some music down for you to uh, listen to while you watch it. And again, if you're not subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and uh, comment what you think of the video down below. Um, I really appreciate that. And I'll read all the comments and uh, reply to you guys like I always do. And uh, yeah, see you soon.